welcome back. Today we're going to be working on level eight. We'll be writing cadences in keyboard and choral style. So you'll be using functional chord symbols and writing the cadence as authentic half or play goal. So I'll show you the steps to take and let's get started. Now here's a typical question. So you need to read the question. You're going to name the key. So let's do that first. So in any question, always name the key. So you see battle ends and down. So a flat major, because the second last flat always tells us the key we're in. Look at what key this is, A, C, E. So we're safe to say, we don't see any accidentals that it's A flat. Sure. Now you're gonna write the cadence in the keyboard style below. So this is what you need to read, keyboard style. All right, you want to remember that. So now let's go to the board. We're going to write the one, which is A flat, C, E flat. What's four notes up? A, B, C, D. D flat, F, A flat. What's five notes up? A, B, C, D, E. E flat, G, B flat. Okay, now you want to go to the end and you see here that there's an A. We will never choose four because four will never end. All right, so we know that this is going to be the one, A flat. Also, never write above the note they give you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to put that note at the bottom because that uh, signifies the key that it is. It's going to be A flat. So let's pick this one. And we want to follow suit with the key signature. So it's six eighths, right? Now, we can write in the other notes that are inside. C and E flat. You already have the two A flats. And we're going to try to keep it close. So we're going to do E. And then we have, of course, C. Okay, you're going to connect those and put your dots. So now we know that that was the tonic, all right? And look at this note here, G. Right? We know that this is the five, seven, you know, that's the degree of this two. The G is the fifth, the dominant chord. So we're going to put the E flat at the base following suit. So let's take, this one is going up, let's go this one down so it seems better. So we're going to take E and you're going to follow suit with what that note is. And they've already given you the rests. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. What are the rest of the letters? We already have the G never right above it. Okay. So we're going to be putting and try to keep a common tone. They both have E flat. So we're going to use that E flat. And what's the other note? It's going to be the B. Then you're going to drop down. So as you can see here, we have a common tone. We stepped up from B flat to C, we stepped up. So we try to keep the notes in close position. Now I'm going to bring you to another question. Name the key. So we see one sharp. So we mostly, what comes after F is G. So G major, and we look here, it's G, well, G major has a G, B, D, and it has a G and D, so I can probably say it's G major because there are no accidentals, so I'd most likely be safe to say it's G major. But who's G major related to? E minor. So E, G, you would see that and you say, hmm, but that should really be raised. But this is how you really, really want to check for sure. We want to check on our stable and unstable degrees. Remember those? So let's say it's G major, all right? And it is, by the way. So now we look at this note, it's a B. So let's count, G, A, B. This is a stable degree. Remember, one or three can be stable. Now the C, G, A, B, C, it's a four. Now that is going to tell us something there. So let's get rid of that for a second and say we thought, okay, let's try E minor, just in case, right? Or even if you see an accidental, it's a good way to check your work. So E minor. E, F, G, A, B. It's a five. Now five could be stable or unstable. So we don't really go with that right now. 
But let's take a look at C. E, F, G, A, B, C is a six. Mm, we're not going to definitely, that's not gonna work with what we need. So let's do our G major. This was a four and this was a three, all right? Now let's name, we know for sure it's G major. So the tonic chord is G, B, D. What's four notes up? G, A, B, C, C, E, G. What's five notes up? G, A, B, C, D, D, F sharp, A. So remember, that was the five, the seven, and the two. This also helps when you start doing melody writing as well. All right, so we now see that this is a B, and we have to look at the question. They want us to write it in chorale style. That means it's a soprano, an alto, a tenor, and a bass. So which one has the B in it? It's the one chord, all right, the G chord. So we're going to write the G in the bass. And because it's choral, choral style, choral, choral, you want to write the stem down. Remember, soprano for this style is different than keyboard, the stem goes up. The alto, the stem will go down. For tenor, the stem will go up. And for the bass, the stem will go down. So what are the other three notes? G, B. Okay, so we already have the G, unless we can put another G. Now, I want to be careful where I put these, because I want to make sure that between the soprano and the alto, it's not more than an octave. Also, between the alto and the tenor, we're not writing more than an octave. So I'm going to pick this G. Okay, because I did the tenor G, the stem will go up. And then what's the other letter? We have G, G, B. And what's missing is the D. So I'll put the D here. Stem goes down. We're going to follow suit with the time signature. So we have a stem up, stem down, stem up, stem down. Now we'll go to the four chord. I say the four chord because who has the C in it? The subdominant chord. It's going to be four. Oh, that's the name of that chord. It's going to be in the bass. So I will pick this C. Stem down. That's my bass. Okay, so what are the other letters? We have a C, C. We need E, G. We'll try to keep the common tone in place together. You see it's a common tone. And who's missing now? E. And as you can see, see, it's a step, a step, common tone, and it's a 4-1 cadence in choral style. Stem up, stem down, stem up, stem down, and we never write above the melody notes. Four, when we see that four, we know we're using the subdominant chord and this three is a stable degree, so it's gonna be one or three, because remember this is one, three, five. Those are the degree tones. Those are your stable degrees, all right, in the dominant chord. So we really don't use those, these right now when you're writing these cadences. So four, three means we've written a plagal cadence. And what We're gonna be writing it in keyboard style. The questions are on the other page. And we know that anyway, because you see here the soprano note. If it was choral style, the stem would be up. So regardless, we're writing it in keyboard style. So let's take a look at the key signature. Father Charles goes down and ends. What comes after E in the alphabet? F, F sharp. So it would be F sharp major, but we take a look that there's an accidental in there. So it's C. What comes after C? D. And F sharp major is related to? Three letter names away. D sharp, D sharp minor, because what's the seventh before D? C. So we know that was the seventh note is raised to the C double sharp in this case. So D sharp minor. So I'm going to use the small numerals because it's a minor key. So we're gonna write our letters D, F, A, and of course it's D sharp, F sharp, A. What's four notes up? The subdominant will also be minor. D, E, F, G. G, B, D. So we know it's G sharp. There's no B there. B, D. The dominant. What's five notes up? D, E, F, G, A. So we have A, C, E. A sharp. Now, this is the fifth. This is the seventh, okay? What happens to any seventh of a minor key? It gets raised. Because this is a C sharp, we know it's double sharped. All right, let's get to the question. 
Let's take a look at this top note. We're in D sharp minor, so D E. This is this unstable note too. So we are safe to say that that's going to be your dominant, and this is going to be our one. All right. Bring, bring in the rest of the letters too. Where is E? Okay, it's the dominant chord. We already have the E on top. We're going to write these other letters underneath, but we're first going to write the first, what the name of that chord. So it's going to be A. Let's put it here, following time signature. Oops, wait a minute, I don't want to put the stem down. We're not in choral style, so there we go. We want to follow stem rules, <laughs> okay, because we are in keyboard style. Therefore, stem rules apply. What are the rest of the letters? A, C, E. So we're going to come back. We have the E. Let's put the C here. And let's put the A here, okay? Following suit, let's go to the tonic chord, D, F, A. So we're gonna put, we have to follow suit, but let's put the D here. Remember the very first letter you put at the base. And we can follow, we have to follow stem rules. We have a common tone. I'm gonna use the same common tone here. We already have the F and A. What are we missing? The D. Okay, there we go. Now what happened, what did we miss here? Because this is a minor. The C double sharp. Do not forget that we need to raise the seventh of a minor. And that's why it's really good to be writing this out to remind yourself what you need to do. And what type of cadence is this when it's a one five? It's a half cadence. You usually find this in the middle of a song. And that's how you do that. Oh mm -hmm.